the Odin 100 from Dovpo and the Vaping Bogan. Let's have a look. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Odin 100 from Vapors Cloud, Vaping Bogan, and Dovpo. So, the important thing on the packaging is uh, basically making sure you get the right version that you want. This is the Odin 100. Now, there's the Odin Mini, and that'll have your DNA, uh, evolved DNA graphics on here as well. Uh, that is the same as this mod, but it's a DNA board inside it, uh, and it's a lot more expensive for having that in. Uh, the 100 is the affordable version with Dovpo's own board. Uh, so that's the important thing to notice from the packaging. In terms of what you get in the box, uh, you get a charge cable, uh, type C. You also get some battery wraps and you get your manuals and all that sort of stuff. But this is the device, 21700, uh, tw uh, tw uh, 2700 as well. And it comes with a tube to adapt it to 18650 if you need that option as well. So let's have a look around this guy. Basically, it's a very, very clever design. It's very well put together. Um, it's long because it's a, it's a big battery in here, but it's very narrow. It almost feels like sort of a, a regulated mech in your hand. You know, it's quite tuby. Um, it's it's as about, it's about as narrow as I reckon you could get a 21700. It's, uh, it's all very squared off very nicely. On top, you've got uh, your gold-plated spring-loaded 510. And on top, you can get about, you can get 28 without any overhang at all, a 28 millimeter wide at it without any overhang. You can get a 30 on as well, but it will start to impact on these slight bevels here. Um, so an absolute dream fit is 28, but you can get your 30s on here if you really want to as well. Moving down, we've got our fire button, our screen, our up, down, and our menu button, and we have type C, the DNA version of this mod, the mini. Uh, has to have the old USB, uh, USB uh, micro USB port. Uh, this one has the Type C, which is good. We've got our version number, our logos, and our battery door here, and uh, it opens up like this. I'm actually currently got a 2700 in here, and I can tell you for sure that there is no rattle, no play, or anything like that with the smaller battery. Uh, so they've done a really good job of fitting both uh, batteries in nicely with no issues at all. And the door is absolutely rock solid. Absolutely no qualms with this door at all. Uh, on some mods, it does become a problem. That kind of latch system definitely won't on this. It's really well done. If you look through your venting here, you can see your battery. And that's why they provide battery wraps. So you can have a nice solid color in here if you want a set look for, for your mod. Uh, so it's really nice touch that it comes with the battery wraps as well. Okay, so that's all the exterior. I should say there's a range of colors available as well. Uh, this is the matte black one, but there's various colors and finishes, uh, and they are different finishes to the Evolve version of this mod. Uh, so uh, yeah, make sure you get exactly what you want. So five clicks on, like this. Uh, very simple, very nice screen. You've got your battery indicator, your mode, and all this good stuff on here, everything you'd want on the screen. And it's very, very simple to get into the menu. You literally just hold the menu button down like that, and then you're in. You've got power, you've got bypass, you've got your TC modes, TCR stats, which is your puff counter and your timer. You can up your brightness to 100 as well. It's a very nice, bright screen, I've got to say. I'm at 75, I think. So it can go even brighter than this. Uh, it's very, very good indeed. Um, if we hold this down, the only thing I would say on the menu that's missing, and it's absolutely no issue to me, but just to let you know, uh, the power curve thing. I can't see an option for the old power curve. So do bear that in mind if you like your power curve. Uh, temp mode, if we go into temp mode, oh, it's not particularly happy with me because I don't have an atomizer on top. But as you can see, we've got Fahrenheit. This does round robin into C Celsius mode if you press Celsius, uh, but you've got that. If you hold down, if you press this menu button three times, one, two, three, you can change your wattage. So it's a fully customizable TC mode, uh, which is very, very good indeed. Um, let's just quickly go back to uh, wattage mode. So if we go power, 
there we go we're back in wattage mode and I'll put an atty on top as well I'm using the old uh, dead rabbit SE sort of a black on black situation but a little bit more to it so that's on there now looking like this I think it does suit these RDAs I think it's a nice sort of dripper if you're not in a position where you want to be using a mech but you want that sort of vibe I think it works totally well obviously it works brilliant with uh, Bogan's new tanks as well he's got some brilliant new tanks out uh, so it would work good with those but yeah very 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 pretty with whatever atty you put on in my opinion the only other thing to mention on t in terms of the screen and options and things like that if you press uh, menu and down you can lock it and the great thing about lock on this it does stop you pressing the keys in your pocket which is nice but you can still vape it that is the right way to do uh, the old locking thing so that unlocks it there like we go and so this is it this is it i'll give you a quick look around it but this is the odin 100 not to be confused with the odin mini let's go up top pros and cons okay guys that was the odin 100 down low really really nice just to clear up any confusion you may be having over the names and the versions this is the odin 100 the affordable version um there is a dna evolve version uh, and that is called the odin mini so if you want your evolve board you want the odin mini if you want your much more affordable one you want the odin 100 the price difference is quite drastic it's almost half price so you've really got to want that evolve chipset uh, to get that version uh, the other key differences are the finishes are all different and the color options are all different USB type C on here as well the evolve ones can't do that yet um, and the wattage this goes up to a hundred watts whereas the evolve one 75 watts because it's the 75 C in there and those are the key key differences uh, beyond that it's a very very similar mod so it's very much just choose the one you like finishes or chipset you know choose the one you like and uh, obviously it depends on your uh, purse strings i guess as well but this is it 21700 2700 and 18650 uh, absolutely rock solid device can fit up to 30 mil millimeter on top 28 fits best and as you go down it fits good the 31 will just come to close to these bevels and over these bevels a little bit but uh, it technically does fit so all good in terms of the board the wattage output the TC and all that sort of stuff it seems to be absolutely on point really like all the features and things on it and everything seems to be absolutely spot on I would not swap this for an evolved version I'm more than more than more than happy with this version over an evolved version uh, 100 percent I would I would recommend this affordable version over the the expensive one hands down hands down but that is just my preference if you love your evolve stuff then obviously go and get that one um the only thing i've noticed it doesn't have on the board on the menus on your options is your power curve so again get the evolve one if you need that power curve i've dabbled with power curve but i don't use it on the day to day so for me that is no issue at all um, and beyond that, it's it's very close to flawless. It's uh, it's definitely my favourite twenty one seven hundred regulated device I've I've been sent. I love the shape and size and feel. It's very sturdy. Dovpo make great mods. I've been making great mods for a long time now, uh, and uh, yeah, it's just another brilliant mod from them, uh, and a really nice job from Vaping Bogan and Vapors Cloud, obviously as well. It's um, it's just yeah, it's reasonably flawless. I can't really give you many more negatives than this. Uh, really really good i mean do bear in mind some of the options this is the matte one some of the options are a bit fingerprint magnety some of the glossy ones can be a bit fingerprinty but i'm really clutching at straws to find a negative um again vaping bogan has done another brilliant collaboration i think he totally gets how the collaborations work i think he knows his place in that chain and uh, i think it allows him to just keep pumping out these very consistently good things and uh, this is another a really good one i'm really really enjoying it um what what else can i tell you guys uh to be honest there's not a lot i can tell you do, I, what i would say is do bear in mind the size and weight it's quite it's quite a heavy little thing and it's and it's not a little thing it's quite a long thing but that is that's unavoidable because of the battery in here 21700 battery they're, they, they're this long so therefore the mod is this long you know there's absolutely nothing anyone can really do about that 
like I say, the price is absolutely key. It seems to be coming in just over half the price of the Evolve version, about 70, 75 bucks, something like that. Um, and for me, that is that's a great price for this. I, I genuinely do think it is a great price for this. Considering what it can do and all the benefits it has, I think I genuinely just think it's a really great device. I really don't have many negatives or anything negative to say about it. It's all positive. I'm really enjoying it. I really like it. I think it's really good. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next review. I've got a lot coming up this week. Loads of videos coming up this week, so do stay tuned. See you on the next one. Cheers.